Warning, the acts you are about to see have been designed, rehearsed, and will be performed live by highly trained, experienced individuals. Many of these acts are extremely dangerous. Under no circumstances should they be tried by viewers at any time. Last week on Phenomenon, all hell broke loose. Chris, I can see you're itching to say something here. I just think it's comical, quite frankly. I will give you a million dollars of my personal money. He's not there to challenge me. I asked him a very, very simple question. What's you in the claim album? that Tell you me what's in the album. do Don't not give me all this bull Tell me what's in the album. Not. Mr. Angel, I believe, is an ideological bigot. You saw his acting. My 10-year-old niece acts a lot more believable than he acts. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, tell, tell me what's in the album. Right here. Guys, 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 guys. Listen to me. See through. That's a bunch of and I'm not going to stand for that. This is Phenomenon. We're live. And if last week's clash between Chris Angel and Jim Callahan left you speechless, the performances this evening are guaranteed to leave you mesmerized. Tonight, Elimination will strike three of our competitors. Who will survive and stay in the competition? Two masters of the mind. Eight extraordinary talents. But only one can become the phenomenon. Phenomenon. Tonight, our competitors will be mentally fighting it out for your votes. And you, America, will ultimately decide who becomes the Phenomenon. As always, our masters of the mind, Chris Angel from Mind Freak and Uri Geller, are here to give their expert verdicts on tonight's performances. But first, three competitors must go home. So, who had the power to shock, amaze and astound you last week? America has voted. It's time to reveal the results. Mike, Wayne, Jan, Angela, Guy, and Jim. Last week, you showed America your mind-bending talents, but who has done enough to stay in the competition? Mike and Jan, Please step forward. Mike. Congratulations, you're safe. Please leave the stage. Jan, I'm sorry. You are going home. Please come and join me over here, Jan. Jan, come and join me over here. Wayne and Angela, step forward. Wayne, I'm sorry you're going home. Please join me over here. Which means, Angela, congratulations, you're safe. Please leave the stage. So, that leaves Guy and Jim. Please step forward. One of you is staying. The other is going home. Guy, what is your mind telling you? That we're all winners, whatsoever. Guy, you're right. Congratulations, you're safe. Please leave the stage. Which means, Jim, I'm sorry, you are out of the competition. Come and join me over here, Jim. Jan, Wayne and Jim. You all must be very disappointed. Do you think America made the right decision? Well, I came here to get a taste of it, and it was a great experience. So as long as it lasted, thank you, America. What about you guys? Well, I'm off the show. I can do interviews tomorrow, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you think Chris's comments helped you or held you back? I, I think he biased the competition because he came in with a preconceived idea of what he would hear and what he would experience, and that's what caused the conflict last week. Wayne, no conflict for you, but are you upset? Oh, I'm happy, baby. I was on NBC in front of millions of people, and, you know, uh, you know a TV show doesn't make a phenomenon. Um, you know, a phenomenon makes himself, so I'm ready to get out there. Very well put. We're so sorry you are not the phenomenon tonight. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you, guys. So, now only five competitors remain. But who will become the phenomenon and win the quarter of a million dollar prize? Remember, that's up to you. Here to take part in tonight's mind-bending events, our special guests, please welcome the girls next door, Kendra Wilkinson, Holly Madison, and Bridget McCord. Great to have you here, girls. Now, everything you see tonight will be happening live. There are no retakes, no second chances, and absolutely no camera tricks. Most importantly, our guests have not rehearsed with any of our competitors. Holly, is this true? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Holly. Our first competitor this evening is a mystifier from Pennsylvania who is eager to live up to his last name. Please welcome Mike Super. Well, thank you, everyone. Tonight, we're going to delve into a supernatural world, an ancient religion of voodoo. And Bridget, I figured you would be the perfect assistant. Give her a small round of applause as she joins me on stage. How are you? Very good. Bridget, all I need you to do is just have a seat okay. right here in this chair. Just relax and look beautiful, which I see you have mastered already. Thank you. First off, let me begin by saying I'm very excited to announce I am now an international performer, which means I've been to Canada. Thank you. <laughs> also, I performed uh, down in the Caribbean islands. They practice a different type of mystifying there. They practice something called voodoo magic. Uh, do you believe, Bridget, in voodoo? No. No. <laughs> I have brought with me my voodoo doll. It's not scary yet. Now, it is scary. You are the doll. The doll is oh, now no. you, Bridget. You are linked, all right? Okay. But for your safety, I must complete an ancient island ritual. It is called cleansing the aura. That way, there can be no long-term lasting effects of any voodoo we do. So I need you to sit up straight, hands flat on your lap, and close your eyes. Breathe deeply as you listen to my words. From here on out, I want you to remain perfectly still. Don't move, but I also want you aware of your physical experiences. If you feel something, please remember it. Remember where you felt it, how many times you felt it, that sort of thing. I'm going to cleanse your aura first. Bridget, did you feel anything, yes or no? Yes. Yes? Uh, did you feel touches? Yes. Uh, in a loud voice so they can hear, how many touches did you feel? Uh, two. Two. Point to the general area that you felt those touches occur. Here. <laughs> Open your eyes, Bridget. I never touched you. I touched the doll twice on its right shoulder, and you felt it. Are you a believer now? I'm starting to. You're not sure. <laughs> Then we're gonna take it up a notch. Oh, no. Do me a favor, hold your hands out in front of you like this, a little higher so everyone can see. Squeeze two tight fists. Hold them away from your body. Squeeze your hands, focus on your hands. Close your eyes, focus only on your hands. We're gonna take it up a notch. Open your eyes, but remain still. I want you to be honest. Did you feel your hands begin to warm just slightly? Just slightly. Okay, let me explain what that was. I quickly lit the doll's hands on fire. That's why you felt heat. That's why your hands are singed. Check it out. Show it to oh the audience. But wait, are you a believer now? Uh, I think so. Almost. <laughs> One last experiment, Bridget. Close your eyes. I call this last part 
the convincer. Oh, no. <laughs> Bridget, you let them know when you feel it. Let them know. <laughs> Did you feel that? Yes? Give Bridget a round of applause. Yes. But come here.